Let's multiply three by one half. So here's two ways we could do this. First off, we could consider that we have three of these one halves. So we could just add one half plus one half plus one half like this. So we have our one, two, three, three one halves, three times one half. When we add fractions, if the denominator is the same, we just keep that the same here. And then we add the numerators. One plus one plus one is three. So we end up with three times one half equals three halves. This is an improper fraction because three is larger than two. So you could change it to a mixed number. Two goes into three one time with one left over. Bring the two over. So three halves, same as the mixed number, one and one half. There is another way we can do this. We could treat the three as three over one. Still three, we're just dividing by one. That gives us a fraction. Multiply that times one half. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, then the denominators. Three times one is three. One times two is two, which we just said is the same as the mixed fraction, one and a half. So that's it. In answer to our question, three times one half equals three halves, or you could call it one and one half. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.